Hello, everyone. This is Fiona. Here's your medium. I am Power. So, hope you guys had a fantastic, nice, beautiful day and evening. And uh, just relaxing and closing your eyes and thinking to the tomorrow, which is going to be the best ever morning, day, and evening as well, or even better than today. So um, how about when we feel down, tired, or feeling like no energy left, ah, a little bit anxiety back and forth, feeling not really good, I feel like something is definitely wrong. Mm, I don't know what is that. I can't even found it. I don't know. What's going on? Well, it sounds to be very similar, huh? So what, what you have to do, and I would love to suggest you, close your eyes for the moment. When you feeling that something is definitely wrong, but you don't know exactly what you have to do and in order to get rid of these things, okay? What you can do, actually, the first you are telling to yourself, everything you could possibly need is already here and waiting for you. You are telling to yourself, everything I could possibly need is already here and waiting for me. So you are not feeling down, sad, disconnect, or uncomfortable about anything. Number two, try to feel that there is more love that you could possibly experience from every single person or everywhere. I do understand if you feel that, oh, what do you mean love? My boss today just gave me a hard time. Oh, my colleague today, oh my God, she was like such a, oh, and I would just say, well, I do understand you completely, but how about like if you just again closing your eyes and telling yourself there is more love that you could possibly experience and tomorrow is going to be the new day and it's going to be much more love that you ever could experience than today. Then there is more joy that you can imagine True, there is absolutely more joy than you can imagine. The wood actually, or the vault, has everything you need and absolutely desire. You should remind yourself that there is a lot ongoing around you that make you possibly feel that you are connected and you would absolutely get into it. Like exactly what you can hear, my phone. Well, you know what? I'm not distracted by that. I know I just forgot about to just shut it down, but or just put it on the silent. But you know what? I'm not going to get distracted because my focus is about to tell you what you have to do to get rid of your anxiety and feeling of lost. And that's why I'm not distracted by anything. That is exactly who you are when you feel disconnect from world, from your own world. So you're not letting anyone and anybody distract you from anything. Example, no matter what you choose to feel or believe or think or say, the universe says yes to you. So this is also very important to remember. No matter what you choose to feel, believe, think or say, the universe says yes to you all the time. So this is very important that you're not allowing anyone, anything and anybody, like my phone, distract you that what I said to you right now in the moment. Do not waste your time on negative thinking and negative subject. This is very important. No matter what other people says, doing, done, going, you are not really wasting your time and thinking or having any sort of connection to negative subject. At the end, you are grateful and happy to be one with universal wisdom and be backed by universal power. So what you have to do, you have to listen to your heart and close your eyes and feel yourself as the most happiest wealthiest, healthiest, and nicest, kindest person in the earth.
Do it when you feel down and feel that you are in a dark spot. Okay? So back to studio, guys, and you are guys listening to Fiona. Here we go. And my favorite station, A1R Psychic Radio. I have a caller. I have Samantha. Hello, Samantha. How are you doing from Florida? How are you doing, Samantha? I'm doing well. Awesome. Samantha, give me your date of birth, sweetheart, and then tell me about your question. Go ahead, darling. Um, my birthday is January 1st of 92. Okay. Okay, sweetheart. Now, tell me about your concern and what you have in your beautiful mind. Share it with me and with our audience, and let's see what I can help you with the guidance uh, and everything. Go ahead. Can I just get, like, a future guidance? Okay, so when we are talking about, uh, Samantha, when we are talking about future guidance, uh, that means many things. It's future guidance about um, love and relationship, future guidance about money, financial, future guidance about uh, parenting or kind of like your parents, your family problems. Uh, future guidance means anything and everything Definitely for your money, family. financial. Family. Okay, Definitely so that means family. that. Yes, awesome. Yes, so, um, what make you to feel to have that question? The reason that I'm asking you, because of a couple of things that I found on your Pentagon right now, and that's why I want to actually get that point or actually go to that point anytime soon with you. Why you feel that you want to know about your family future or something? Is it something lately that making you to feel a little bit unstable or feeling kind of worried and concerned that may something is on the way to happen that you just strongly feel that you need to have some guidance on or just like I need to know if it's going to happen so I have to make myself ready. So what make you to feel this way, sweetheart? This is important for me to know. Um, um, well, there is a um, current situation with my cousin and her child and um, the father of the child. There's just many, many concerns about him and whether or not he's capable of being a good father. He's been violent towards her. Um, and she's very, very concerned for the safety of her, the children that she already has, and the new baby that she has had. Okay. So you are basically concerned about, like, that... Um if um, the court or judge on whomever are actually going to make a decision, going to say that, yes, of course, she can see the father, but you guys knew or knows from the past that he's not even capable or not having any sort of ability or responsibilities towards this girl. So you guys concerned about her. So basically, you are worried about, like, what if, if, the, he's going to have the permission or anything in regard to just uh, talking and connecting with his own child or actually his own girl. Okay, I understand that. But let me tell you one thing, Sonny. You are asking about them. And now I can see it in the Pentagon that you are concerned about them. How are they connected to you? Like, um, are you connected to the, to the mom of the beautiful girl or how they are connected to you? Uh, yes, I'm connected to the mother. Uh, like a blood connection or is kind of like a friendship? Um, it's kind of like we, my, our mo mothers were best friends and we were raised as cousins. Okay. So some sort of best friend connection, but actually developed somehow right. that you guys had some sort of, yeah, kind of like a soulmate feelings that you just guys caring too much about each other. Well, the one thing right. that you should know about the, that kind of the specific situation, the first things that I would say that uh, the father going to be well behave. Reason could be a couple of things, because uh, that's what I'm asking you, like, how do you know those family or actually the person in the question? Uh, 
when I can see it in your Pentagon that you're concerned about this little girl, so I wouldn't, I would definitely tell and suggest you to drop it and not have been concerned because he is going to be well behaved. The father would not actually show or actually use any violation because he knows that there is a lot of eyes around. And beside on that, he's, he knows that if he's going to be stupid or doing stupid things towards this little girl, then things is not going to go the way that he wants or wish for. And that's what it sounds like that he actually got his listen and he's not going to do the same. So that's why I wanted you to just really drop the, your wordiness and concern about anything that has to do with this little girl. How old is she? Um, 23. Okay. So uh, when you are worried about that the father is going to actually kind of like um, getting into her, is it like that you are concerned about sexually as well, or is it just about the matter of hitting her or just like, you know, using violation? That's completely not respectful of any wishes. Um, he's been told not to go to her home has showed up, pushed his way into the house. I mean, he's choked her out, like, just stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not someone that you want around. I know exactly what you mean. It's definitely not someone you want to help raise a baby. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. So what I'm trying to basically tell you, sweetheart, when we're talking about this family, God bless them, and my prayer is always going to be after them, but there is nothing to be concerned. He's not going to show any kind of craziness or stupidness that trying to push this family down more than actually he did already. So that means that they are going to be protected. And if anything and anything and everything had happened or had just they, you know, found something that they had to really talk to someone or so, then um, they need to take on action. But right now or... In the nearest future, when I actually look into the Pentagon and see about like in between now and to two months, in between now to three months, in between now and to six months, in between now and to a year, uh, if anything is going to happen to this family because of him, if he's going to be or actually using any sort of violation or anything in regards to the Pentagon telling me about the answer is no, then that means that um, they are going to be safe, especially this girl is going to be safe and secure. So that's not going to be any problem. And um, the other things that I can see actually on your Pentagon also, it sounds like that you are going to win over some situation. I don't know what you are waiting for. It could be some news or it could be some answer that um, um, should come to trying to verify um, some money or some unexpected money, uh, which also actually uh, standing in your left side of your pentagon, which also is telling about prosperity and your abundance. So that means that perfect everything is just going to be exactly as you wish. When we are talking about around um, the July 10, July uh, 23rd, and August 11. So those dates actually it became very strongly in your pentagon, which I make me, would make me feel very happy. So I feel very good much about your reading or about your pentagon. There is no red flags or any down things that I have to or should warning you about it. Uh, health wise, everything is good. Beside that, you need to just really do more, maybe exercise or actually using muscles more. Uh, sounds like that your body needs to really have some action and or getting into some activity and other than that money wise looks great family wise actually you are going to have a power around which people are going to listen to you and you are going to have credit and love around them which is very awesome and when we are talking about your future then they're in between now until six months then there is absolutely no red flags no bad things and nothing to be concerned. So congrats. It sounds to be very good, honey. And I will Thank pray you. for this beautiful family. You are very welcome, Samantha. Have a great one and talk to you soon. Okay, guys, back to studio, and you are guys listening to me, Fiona, Persian Medium, I am Power, and uh, A1R Psychic Radio. So I have Esther. Hello, Esther. How are you doing from Colorado? Hello. Yeah, I think that, yes, we lost her right now. Don't worry about it. Actually, uh, she is coming back in no time. Okay, so, well, 
as uh, you guys just heard me about that when me when me and Samantha are talking about um, the little bit of wordiness and concern about the family, I know it's kind of like um, uh, devastating. It's kind of like very sad that um, you should feel that you can't even trust uh, the father of the baby or you know the, the the mother of the baby or actually someone that actually you know make this baby come to the world and it's kind of like so sad that you can feel that this person uh, is just trying to use a violation and hitting the baby doing things it's, it's just very sad you know I don't understand why why they should have been do that. And I'm definitely sure the problem is not the baby. The problem is them. The problem is their insecurities, anxieties, and a lot of problems and craziness that they had in their childhood. And they need definitely actually have some help. So now I have Esther back. Hello, honey. Welcome back. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm doing awesome, a little sick, but I'm okay. Oh, I like to know about my health. Yes. Okay. Esther, darling, um, I need to have your date of birth, sweetheart, and then tell me what you have in your beautiful mind and what I can do for you. Go ahead, sweetheart. Okay. My birthday is May 9th, 1951, and I'm worried about my health. Just okay. uh, having, having problems with my stomach. Um. Is that was lately or kind of like um, for how long you just have that kind of the stomach problem? I had it problem? for a while, but it just got worse in the last three months. Okay. Is there, um, for the past three months, did you try to um, relax or just not stress yourself or not getting emotion? You know that a lot of um, tummy problems, stomach problems, actually digestic problems is just coming from uh, not sleeping good, not having a good feelings and connection to your own body and yourself and not uh, drinking and eating correctly. And uh, basically when you are in an anxiety mood and not feeling all right then you don't have any desire to eat and drink and sleep so uh, past three months sweetheart uh, how was your life past if you're gonna just tell me describe your life for the past three months what should uh, what should you do what should you yeah. say uh, uh, well I'm, I had to move out of my condo because I cannot afford repairs and I'm moving with my daughter and um, doing all the housework, and she's having a baby. I'm going to be taking care of the baby. And I'm 66 years, so I don't think I could take care of all that. <laughs> so, mm. And my stomach is, uh, is partially paralyzed, so I don't digest food correctly. <laughs> So basically, um, past three months, you gone through financial problem, uh, yes. insecurity about if you are going to even handle or going to handle correctly or somewhere to leave, somewhere to be, and you feel that you are kind of enough old, but now you have to take care of the, you know, uh, grandchildren and other things, and you don't know about the unknown place the way that you're going to be, how you are going to be, and kind of like yes. basically your life been very stressful past three months. Well, not actually make me to be kind of shocked to say like, oh, Mister, why you have a been digestive problem or, you know, stomach problem. It's very obvious. So much stress and um, oh. so much anxiety. Reason is there because you are living in your past or in your future, better say, past and future, because you have both depression and you are desperate and you feel anxiety. Yeah. All three is just because, first, you are living in your past because you may blame yourself that I could do better, that not really being in this situation today. Number two, 
that you are living in the future because you don't know what's going to happen when you're going to move to your daughter, when you're going to actually taking care of the baby, how things is going to happen in between you and them. And like, if you're ever going to be or have any sort of possibility to get rid of your, you know, health problems or stomach or tummy problems, if money is going to be good enough to even actually go to the doctor, if insurance is going to cover this and that. So I do understand you completely. And you are, Thank you, you yeah. just lost, you just lost some place that, um, you at least feel comfort in it was and just belong to you. So it's completely normal and understandable why you feel this way. So my suggestion to you is you can't control over your situation right now because you don't know what's going to happen. The first thing that you can't control over your situation physically is about that you don't have enough money. You can have your home back because there's not enough money. You couldn't even pay that. You can't even argue or doing something with your daughter either because you have to follow through at least that you have some place to leave because you have to help them and all those stuff. So you don't have any other choices besides that you accept the unknown energies that may scare you already that even you feel kind of disconnect to yourself. What you have to do, stop living in your past, which is actually going okay. to blame or actually you're blaming yourself too much on and stop living in the future which you just feel about like i don't know what's going to happen in between me and them and actually money and financial psychically i can tell you all your problems when we are talking about money financial health tummy digesting or any kind of like a problem like that and even family will absolutely going to be all right so there is no necessary and there is no need to be concerned, worried, and disconnect yourself with your now moment, the present moment to enjoy. I wanted you uh -huh. to enjoy your moment, the moment that me and you are talking. Okay. And I wanted you to okay. stop thinking, Esther, that, oh, maybe my tummy problem or things that I have, it may going to be a major issue. Or maybe actually the doctor is going to say that my test is going to come back and telling me some bad news. Well, it's not going to happen. Yes. So okay, that's I know, good to know. I, I know. I know your voriness and I know your sadness. About the money and financial, Esther, something uh -huh. on the way to happen around, which is actually when I look into your Pentagon, um, between the August 27 until the September actually 17 yes that's correct it says september 17 comes directly in the middle of your pentagon then i can see that financially you will grow fast something going to happen at that time my that daughter's having her happen. baby on the 23rd i'm sorry my daughter's having her baby on the august the 23rd okay so that is yeah. perfect so that means yes. that your life is just completely going to change, sweetheart. And oh, something good. very good, <laughs> something very nice. It sounds like even uh, this beautiful baby will actually give you the prosperity and some sort of love or unconditional love that making you to oh. feel extremely connect to yourself again. So oh, all I can so say... Sweet. Esther, try to not concern sweetheart. I know it's very hard to just not sitting and guessing. I know that you are even concerned about your daughter as well. And like, is everything going to be all right with her, with the baby? And if I am going to be all right to be together with them? Well, answer to your question is yes. Esther. Okay. All right. Believe in yourself, okay. sweetheart. And stay okay, away thank from you so much for your Christmas. advice, and I feel a lot better right now. I have a smile on my face. <laughs> thank awesome, you. Awesome, sister. Awesome. Have a great one, darling. And remember, again, tomorrow is a new day, baby. And every day yes. actually has a very strong, beautiful, powerful message and signals and sign that telling us to not give up. It's not time to okay. give up, sweetheart. You need to really connect yourself again and stop really bothering yourself because you are worried about your unknown future, which I see psychically that's going to be awesome and perfect. Okay? God oh, bless you. Great. 
And God bless your daughter. God bless the new baby that is actually going to come. We are already going to welcome, actually, an early welcome yes. to her. Or him. <laughs> so everything is going to be all right. So have a great one. Much love to you. And Thank take you care so of yourself. Thank you so much. Bye bye, yes. sweetheart. You're very, you're very welcome, gorgeous. Bye bye, sweetheart. Okay, guys, I don't have so much time. I have just 60 seconds to say thank you so much for today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so thankful, grateful for A1R, Psychic Radio. I'm thankful, grateful for my audience. I am thankful and grateful for tomorrow. That's going to be the new show at actually 8 o'clock, 8 Pacific time. For more information, guys, you can go to A1R.com and actually reading more about me. And you guys can find me on Keen.com as Fiona, Persian Medium, I am power. Have a great fun. Bye-bye, guys.